Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and my look at Vendar's Navy. And as promised in this third part, I am taking on a battleship design. Now, we have a choice. The Emperor has given us a choice. It must be a Dreadnought 4. Um, there are two schools of thought. One is to go with a heavy casement armament, and the other is to go for, um, well, the, the, the Emperor has called them CNX turrets, but uh, they're not the same calibre as the main guns. We can, but have basically having nine inch guns uh, firing fore and after, we saw how effective they were on the heavy cruiser. So that is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go for that option. And we're going to call this uh, never a good idea to pre name your ships, but uh, we'll, we'll go for it. The Verwustung. <laughs> I think that's... If German speakers, please, please correct me in the comments. So, this obviously being a flagship, we're going to have spacious quarters. Um, and we're going to have... Well, we probably wouldn't have seasoned crews. That, that that was for the heavy cruisers. But we might have a regular crew. So, we'll go for a 60. Um, so, these these are very well trained. You know, our best sailors. But it's a new, new ship type, so... Um, we're not going to have uh, seasoned crew, but I think regular crew is 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 going to be acceptable. Uh, let's go for a medium range. Um, now then, uh, to pull this off, uh, it has been suggested that we use the tall advanced tower five, i.e., the best one, uh, and the rear tower seven, which is this one. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we, we can go with that. Uh, presumably the Emperor likes the look of those ones. Um, how much smoke do we get from that? 81. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go for one of those, one of those. Tall funnel three and a one. Yes, I could. They look a little weird. Like they're not exactly the same. Uh, but they do work. Or I could go for a four. Now nah, four takes up so much room, though. Too much. Hmm. Right. Hmm. I'm thinking about maybe doing a triple funnel setup because it is slightly different. Okay, so it's advanced, which is annoying because they're huge. Because hmm. the little sticky out bits on them. Yeah, it would be advanced. Three advanced funnels. Well, do you know what? Let's let's go for it. Let's let's make a big ship. Um, and yeah, let's let's go for three advanced funnels. Why not? Certainly give it some appearance. Like so. There we go. Now then, um, gun wise, we. Oh no, 15 inch guns. Mark 3s. Lovely. Okay. Um, I think they need a standard bar bit. Move. Oh, I can't move that tower back. Fuck. 
sorry, I can't go with three funnels then because I need so much room for bloody guns. Um, not that I'm complaining hugely about having to fit lots of guns, but it's eleven. Uh, might we'll go with two tall funnel ones then. Uh, middle of the ship's roughly there, I think. Just give ourselves a little bit more deck space to work with. Um, I could, would have done three. It would have been so much better if I had been able to fit in like three of those or something. But anyway, mind you, I could fit three large funnels, couldn't I? Sixty, or something or other. Yeah, the the two of those is better. Okay, fifteen-inch guns. Uh, we'll just go with jewels. Uh, and then probably a short bar bit will work. And then we've been asked to fit nines firing over the top. Nah, uh, that looks a little bit weird. I do like it, but it is a little strange. I don't know, oh, aesthetics aren't important, min-maxing, blah, 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 but... Sometimes, you know, you, you've, you've got to have a little bit of a sense of that, right. Mind you, now... <laughs> Kinda blocks the view from the bridge. So maybe I will go with the short one. <laughs> Trade off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is there a shorter? Can I maybe get away with a medium? Yeah, I can. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do the exact same on the rear. So, similar armor to Bismarck, or let's have this arrangement. Vanguard uh, in armament, although with the addition of the 9 inch guns, which will fit in somehow. There we go. Uh, yeah, that that's pr pretty decent. I have an aft weight offset. See, Ultimate Admiral Devs, please just let me go like this. Select all the stuff on the ship and just move it. Like, because all this is l wonderfully spaced out. I really don't want to have to fiddle around with it to move the offset. That's annoying. Um, I'm going to go with 4 inch in the casements because, oh no, I can't. Fives? Okay, fives it is. I was going to go fours because they are light, but uh, apparently not allowed. 2 inch guns. And then there must be secondary guns that we can fit in here. Can I go all the way up to a five? Yeah, I can. Five inch gun there. So two inch. Now then, it would be nice if we get a little bit more in the way of the nine inch in. But uh, we'll have to deal with that when it comes to it. Uh, let's just, yeah, we can, we can get away with it by, uh, I think, just moving the uh, forward turrets a little bit. Maybe the forward tower. Tiny bit. Okay. Um, 
Maybe some side mines as well if they fit. Eh, not really. So we'll worry about that. Um, okay, rest of the ship. Uh, oh, I just realised we're going pretty slow. I think natural boilers will be more than enough. I don't want this thing to be stupidly fast. I don't want it to be apocalyptically slow either. I mean, 30 knots is neither, <laughs> neither it is stupidly fast. Do you know what? If I can get that to fit, I will. But uh, I, I, I rather suspect that I'm going to have to tone that down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Especially once we start adding uh, all the detection. I'm just going to put a hydrophone on this. Torpedo protection. Yeah. That kind of limits us. Um, I'm going to go with standard shells. Uh, flash fire chance is still 2% with that. Uh, I know I'm overweight at 104%. Uh, so I'm just going to slow down a little bit. Thinking about 26 knots, to be honest. Okay, that gets me pretty close. What about a sh slightly shorter range? There we go. Okay. So, that gets me under, and I can increase the armor a little bit. Which is always nice. Uh... Inch bed belts, pretty pretty respectable. Uh, let's have a look at our own guns. See uh, see how we're doing. So we're thinking kind of ten thousand meters, kind of ish engagement range. Uh, if we're going under that, then our belt might be vulnerable. So uh, twenty seven divided by two point one eight is twelve point four inches. So our Mid belt and our turrets are safe down to that range, so that's fine. Um, and then the deck, uh, well, I have a five inch deck, which gives me 10.9 inch effective, so we're okay out to about 20,000 meters. How much would I need to be totally protected? Say 13.5. Uh, six, okay. Can we get that up to six? We can. Okay, lovely. And then... Like, just a little bit more on the turrets. And a little bit more on... Well, yeah, the turrets. Okay. Actually, that doesn't need to be up at 15, then. Tone that down. I'd rather have turret armor than tower armor. There we go. I think that will work. I think that will work. It does meet the requirements. It's, you know, very similar to a Queen Elizabeth. Uh, same speed, uh, same guns, although heavier secondaries. Um, yeah, I think she should do okay. I think that she should do okay. All right, let's try her out. I can always uh, adjust the design. We're only up against a battle cruiser, so uh, it's not going to fully test out the ship. But. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. AI taking its big boy bills today. 15 inch guns. Slightly concerned about the protection on that thing, but uh, we shall see.
all the turrets firing. She looks good. Hmm. Very nice. Ah, scoring some hits as well. And those are actually from the nines. Ah, interesting. I wasn't necessarily expecting the nines to do particularly well. They've got a target lock bug, which is not their fault. That's uh, part of the game. By the way, if you want to reduce this, just increasing the level of your crew seems to uh, seems to reduce it a lot. But uh, yeah, this this st is still happening, uh, where this just does not progress, which is not right. And you know it's not right because you can fix it by doing that. And then it will re aim. Oh, that was a big hit. So is that. We get 90 soon. I have taken a couple of hits, but they were both blocked. Green crew, that'll do it. Uh, chew powder, picric acid, 26 knots, so we're as fast as their battle cruiser, that's nice. Armour is pathetic, the 9 inch guns should have no problem chewing it up. Yeah, 97% chance to pen. Out of interest, throw some HE shells at it. That works. It's <laughs> what happens when you don't have any armor on your fore or aft deck, and uh, fore and aft belts more suitable for a destroyer than a battle cruiser. Somebody's going to get the bright idea to just shoot at you with uh, high explosive. It won't go. I don't think it will go through their uh, their main belt, but um, yeah, it's only <coughs> it's only gone down to eighty eight. Can't go through the turrets or their main belt. All right, go back to auto. A lot of flooding. No torpedoes on this thing. Beautiful. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, uh. Yes. Ah, well. Very nice. <laughs> uh, yes. That, that is, I think we can say that that is a successful test. Um, okay, well. Uh, I hope to see you again soon for seeing all of the ships that I've been designing over the last uh, couple of videos trying to work together as a fleet. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.